Newcastle United women have drawn Manchester United women in the next round of the FA Cup and ladies and gentlemen it's a wee Welcome back to Newcastle Fans TV. If you haven't already, hit the like, hit the subscribe. Let's get into this one. Fourth round of the Women's FA Cup and Newcastle United women have Manchester United women. The WSL side, who were runners up last year, they've got eight league titles, they've won six Women's FA Cups, five WSL Cups and four Women's Champion League titles. So no biggie for all asses. Yeah. Well, biggie for the lady mags going into this one. Yeah, yeah, we'll walk this one. That said, if you're sitting there and you're only focusing on, well, we're probably going to get beat now. Get out of here, will you? We ain't about that. We ain't about that negativity. We want the positive sides to this. And the big positives are, we are getting what we want in a challenge. In the Super League, no doubt. No stepping up into the Championship and then getting the Super League. No, 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 no. We went whole hog way getting a Super League side. And not just, you know... A mid-table Super League side or a low lead, low, lower side of the table. No, 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 no. Up the top there. You know, the ones who fight for the title every year. Yeah, it's going to be fun. Massive. Massive for the lasses, if you ask me. Um, the learning opportunities are endless. Um, you think you've got the likes of Ella Toon, Melvin Mallard, Millie Turner, uh, Maya Letizia, Gacy, um, Hinata Miyazawa. And of course, ladies and gentlemen, how could you ever forget the one, the only, Mary Ginnips. Come on, the best goalkeeper in the world. You're telling me Grace isn't going to go and have a few words after the match. Get some, get some advice, you know, like, like these lasses are going to learn. They've got a lot to learn here. If, if, if we could take the victory here, and I'm not saying it's impossible, it certainly isn't, it's doable. Our lasses are very capable of causing upsets. Our lasses are very, very, very capable of doing the business, and when you look at it, the pressure is all on Manchester United. They're expected to win. They're expected to trounce this, and we can go there. It's not as much pressure on our shoulders, because we've done fantastic in the tournament so far. We're having a, an amazing one of our best seasons to date so far, so we can go down there to Manchester, to the Lee Sports Complex, and do some upsetting work, I would say. Um, it's certainly capable for Becky, the likes of Bridget, Georgia Gibson, Charlotte Potts, uh, Naomi Bedou, I hope, I hope Naomi Bedou's back. And I mean, I was talking to Lee and I was saying um, how Jodie Bottle would have been extremely crucial to having this game with her Champions League experience. But the fact that she's still sitting there on the side and obviously helping the club, she's going to have loads of advice for the lasses, she's going to be there to talk a lot. To them and give give them the best. We've we've got plenty of players who are up and coming who who will see this as their chance to go out there and go. Do you know what it is? Let's have this one. Let's show them what I'm made of and let's let's do this now. Um, you think travelling down to Manchester against this team? You know for a fact Mark Skinner, which is Manchester United's manager. You know for a fact Mark Skinner is going to be watching us and seeing us as a threat. Um. Yes, they've got the best keeper in the world. Yes, they've got some fantastic fantastic defenders down there, but. We're a heavy attacking side. We've we've got plenty of players out there. Bridget Galloway, Katie Barker, who's a fantastic in a new role. You've got the likes of Alicia Body. I can't wait. I can't wait to see Alicia Body down there. I think Alicia Body's going to shine against Manchester United. Yeah. Um, Potty, Amber Stobbs. You know, you've got plenty, and they they're some of the more experienced players who I'm mentioning. Not quite the youngins. You know, you you. Your Becky Ferguson's, your Olivia Watts. So yes, it is going to be played on a Sunday. Like I say, Manchester United are playing that weekend, the men's team. So we won't get Old Trafford. It'll no doubt be the Lee Sports Complex, which is, it's it's fine for me. That's It's going to be a nice away day trip. Um, you know, we'll be going down. I think it's going to be very important as well because Manchester United women get a lot of, they get a lot of support from theirs, from their, 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 City, so yes, the men playing on the same day might affect that. Um, he has hoping it does. Um, 
and what we can do is hopefully take a good, I would like to say a good 500 and we'll go down. That would be nice. That would be a nice benchmark. 500 plus go down. Coaches left, right and centre. People driving down. <laughs> Let's have them. Um, we're, we're just as important to this team as the, the team is to us as fans. So I think plenty we need to go down. You know I'm going to be there. I've already been discussing it with Lee. Lee's going to be down there. There's been a fair few people on Twitter who've been like, whew, big draw that. I may have to go. Who haven't attended women's games or have only attended a couple of women's games. So, you know, it, it, it's getting... Uh, this is what the power of a Super League team does. And these are the reasons why the likes of Becky and, and Sue and all the players and that wanted it. Um, it, it, it. More eyes. More eyes on. Chance Art's going to be play on BBC. Pfft, class. Everyone get that banged on. You know, watch that at home. Unbelievable. This is this is exactly what I want. Another one to go on as well. This is going to be interesting because Manchester United are one of the elected teams for the Super League. So a body of teams sort of came together to be elected into the Super League and to create the Super League and to get it going and make that the top division. Um, and although, yes, they have proved themselves good, they are an elected team. When, not if, but when Newcastle United get to the Super League, we're going to be one of those teams who've come from the bottom. Started at the bottom, now we're here. You know what I mean? Like this is this is this is a good 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 example of things to come. And if we beat them, oh, do you know what it is? If we went there, if we went down there and we beat them, I'd love that. I'd love that if we beat them. Oh, it'd be class. Guys, let us know your thoughts. Let us know what you think about this. Do you think we can go down and smash it? Do you think... Leave the negativity. Who are you looking forward to seeing? What 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 face-ups are you looking forward to seeing? Are you hoping to see Charlotte Potts? Two foot, Ellie, Ella Toon. <laughs> what? Are you waiting to see Amber Stubbs go... What I want is Millie Turner does a run up pitch. And two defenders go run at each other. What, what, what? Ladies, gentlemen, it's going to be a big one. 15th of January. Fourth round of the Adobe Women's FA Cup. Are you going to beat it? You better. Bring it, guys. Obviously, Christmas jumper, but we're still going to give a big... Where is it? How are you, the lasses? Mwah! Till next time, like, subscribe. Hey!